Good afternoon and good morning. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for attending our webcast on customizing XMetal 6.0 web. My name is Simon Bate. I'll be the presenter today. And uh, let's get started. So first off, let's go through a few preliminary but important notes. Um, number one, this is if you're hearing me, then this doesn't apply to you. But uh, if you're reading, this should you should be hearing me at this point. If you can't hear me, then you better check your settings. Like I say, this is like saying everybody who's not here raise their hands. Um, all the participants in this webcast are muted, so you're not. I'm not going to be able to hear you. You're not going to be able to hear each other. If you do have questions for me, there is a questions tab in the uh, GoToWebinar control panel, and please feel free to use ask questions. I'll try and check it occasionally through the uh, through the webcast. And at the end, we will have uh, I will go through those questions and uh, see any other questions that you ask at that time. This uh, webcast is being recorded. Now, um, none of your information will appear in the recording for privacy. Uh, and the Q&A session at the end <clears throat> is not being recorded. Um, the drawing for uh, the free copy of X Metal Author will be held after the webcast. And I'll give some more information about uh, uh, signing up for the drawing at the end of the webcast. Oh, there we go, just, just to make sure. OK, a few words about Scriptorium. Uh, Scriptorium, we provide, as it says here, expert advice on publishing technical content. So if you have problems with your documentation, we're happy to uh, provide you an analysis of the problem. We can uh, provide an implementation for a solution. We can also apply that uh, solution to your files, make uh, you know, do file changes for you. And we can also provide training. For, um, for the solution or for any of the products that we recommend. Um, we're all competent, technical, and we're all very friendly, so please come talk to us. We're also, I think it's important to note, we are vendor neutral. That is, we are not resellers of any other software, and our main goal is to ensure that you use the best software for your solution. A little bit about me. Here's my smiling mug. Um, I've been in technical publications, I like to say, for about 30 years, a little bit more, actually. Um, I, I also like to say uh, 10 years as a writer, 10 years as a manager, and the uh, past 10 years as a, uh, a tools geek or a toolsmith. I've loved dealing with tools the whole time I've been in, uh, in technical documentation. My motto is, let the computer do the work for you. Uh, I'm also a certified technical trainer. I provide a lot of the uh, scriptorium training. So if you order training from us, then you'll most likely be talking to me. I am based, uh, scriptorium is based in the Research Triangle Park, North Carolina, which is uh, in the Raleigh-Durham area. So let's get things started off with a poll here. I'd just be curious um, the, of you attendees, what is your interest in X Metal Author? And let me uh, go here to the uh, panel and kick the poll off. And then I can talk a little bit more while you're voting. So I'll give you, oh, maybe 30 seconds or so to vote or just see how many of you vote. And uh, just let me know, are you shopping for XML editors? Are you currently evaluating XML Author as one of your possible tools? Are you using XMetal Author but before 6.0, or are you using XMetal 6.0? So, and I think I'll I'll give the we're getting really up there on the polling. Everybody's participating. This is wonderful. This is very encouraging. 100% voted. Wow, that's great. And so let's see. I'm going to close the poll, and I'll share the results with you. So what I'm seeing, and here let me show the audience view to make sure. So what I'm seeing is that 35, even, even match, 35% um, of you are shopping for XML editors. 35 are currently evaluating XML author. And 17% uh, of you are currently using XML before 6, and 13 are actually using XML 6. So I'm um, curious why you, well, we won't go there. Uh, <laughs> You're using it, you need to know what's going on. All right. 
So in my next poll, I'm also curious just what type of output you're generating. So let me go and turn on this poll. And this poll is you can vote for um, as many of these as you want to. And uh, I'd like to know, you know, are you generating PDF? Are you generating CHUM files, uh, Microsoft HTML help? Are you just generating HTML and distributing that? <clears throat> are you generating some form of tripane help? And if you're generating anything other than what's listed here, um, uh, I'd be happy for you to write either in the questions, probably best in the questions area, and uh, let me know what you mean by other. And I'll take a look in the questions box. Nobody's writing there yet. <clears throat> so you give another five seconds. 85% have voted. Some of you aren't participating. 88%. All right. I'm going to close the poll now. We've got... 12%, I mean, 88% uh, participation, that's pretty good. So let me close this and share the results with you. So this is almost as I expected, or at least the top number, and that's uh, quite interesting, actually, that almost everybody here generates PDF. So that's uh, that's really interesting. Um, 96%. 61% uh, of you, it's another tie. 61 do... Uh, um, Chum files, 61% do other forms of HTML help, 17 do tripane, and 26, I'm saying these numbers, I'm writing them down for myself here. Um, <clears throat> and uh, of the others, the um, some of the things that are coming in here I'm seeing is we need uh, probably need to do some form of XML, and the other is Word. So that's interesting. That's an interesting, uh, interesting solution. Um, I'm curious for the person doing Word if you're using DITA and using the uh, RTF output from uh, DITA to get your Word, or how you how you're getting your Word files out. All right, and Flash. Oh yes, another interesting one. So 17% call for tripane help, and that's interesting because of course the uh, um, the web help that we're talking about here in uh, XMetal 6.0 is a tripane help. Uh, I've got another one. Did it to go RTF output from DITA? Ah, okay. I wondered if did it to go was. Oh, oh, Jeremy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, let's hide the results here. And let's get started. Let's get into the, the real presentation here. So a little overview of what we're going to cover today. Um, we want to talk about the uh, new non-DITA features in XMetal 6.0. Um, that includes a background spell checker. We'll also address some of the other DITA features, um, the integration of reviewer, and uh, the web help output format. And then we'll take a look at um, how to customize, or what are the various ways you can get in and customize the, the web help. And that'll include... Uh, a view of the implementation of the web help, um, looking at how to modify the layout, look at how to change the fonts, and then adding the headers and footers. So some of the new non-DITA features in XMetal Author 